make our drums today, you're gonna need two plastic cups, some string or yarn, some duct tape, scissors, I have these two tools for poking a hole. This is a Phillips head and this is an awl. You could use an ice pick. You need a grown up to do that. We need some um, Sharpie markers. Regular markers will not work for this. They will just make a big mess. So don't bring any of these markers. If you don't have Sharpies, then you could potentially use um, some paint or you could just leave them plain. I have some pony beads and we're ready to go. All right, we also need two balloons. So this is where you need a grown up to help you. We're gonna take the owl or the ice pick and go from the inside and carefully poke a hole. Then I took the Phillips head screwdriver to make the hole a little bigger, just so it's easier. And now we take scissors and we're gonna just cut the bottom off the cup. I do leave a little edge that'll help it make it be stronger. Do that to the other one. Next is to take a piece of duct tape. You could use masking tape or plastic tape, but you want to make sure it's a wide tape so that it can put the two sections together. You need enough that's going to go around the bottoms of the cups. So we'll put the cups together. <clears throat> If you need help holding it, do that. And it's not gonna go perfectly straight because they're on an angle, but that's all right. Just do your best. Okay. Next is to decorate. So I'm gonna use a red marker. And since this already has little grooves in it, I'm gonna just make some little decorations in every other one on both sides. Then I'm gonna alternate that with black. And I'm just using, making like squares in geometric shapes. Our next step is to cut the bottom part of the balloon off. And stretch it over the top of the cup. You might need some help to do it. It is a little challenging to do it. Try the other side. Now you could put rubber bands on there, but I found that it's pretty tight. And I don't think it's gonna go anywhere unless I really press hard. Now you can see my decoration is not quite what it was, but that's all right. Just to add a little bit more decoration, I'm gonna get some string. I'm gonna measure it so I have enough to tie. And I'm gonna go around one, two, three times. Make sure I have enough to tie. Now I'm gonna string my beads on that string. My knot tied, and I'm gonna separate these out. have my string pretty tight. Now with my long string, I'm gonna do another loop of beads. These I'm gonna do looser so that they can clack against the other ones. I'm gonna use about 10. I have 10 beads on there. I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna tie another knot and I'm gonna spread those out around. So I have my last layer of beads. I'm gonna go around and look at that. I have enough to tie it. This time I'm gonna make sure that I do a nice square knot so that it doesn't come undone. Right over left and then left over right. Make sure square knot, neat, tidy, and tight. And that will not come undone. Then I'm gonna scatter those beads around my last loop. And my drum is all ready to play.